Good evening. Welcome to Visual Compline on Tuesday with Ian. Whatever your day has brought, we invite you to seal it and to place it before our Lord Jesus Christ in this liturgy of Compline, where tonight we remember those who have been martyred for their faith and we commemorate Martin of Porres, a friar in Peru in 1639, who lived a life of humility and poverty in the wreckage of the Inca society, himself a child of a Spaniard, a colonist and a Peruvian, struggling to reconcile the world that he faced. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And turning to the psalm from evening prayer, Psalm 100. The refrain, the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. The Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. O Christ, door of the sheepfold, may we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost and the wandering, this day and all our days. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, for ever. Amen. And so we turn to the New Testament. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this is the good news of the kingdom, which will be proclaimed throughout the world, as a testimony to all nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands. O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow 
of your wings. And so we come to the song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis. Those words recorded being said by Simeon in the temple, who held the infant Jesus in his arms and recognised the Messiah, the saviour of the world. Today, it's prefixed and followed by a remembrance of martyrs. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. And so we offer prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen all those in whom your light lives, that they and we may hold forth hope and wisdom and the light of life in the face of pain, suffering and terror. May we draw those who are lost and lonely, seeking and hungry, to the table of our Lord Jesus Christ where there is plentiful food for all. May it be said of us when we have passed that we were salt and light. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the cross of the Son of God, which is mightier than all the hosts of Satan and more glorious than all the hosts of heaven, Abide with us in our going out and in our coming in, by day and by night, at morning and in the evening, at all times and in all places, may it protect and defend us. From the wrath of evil doers, from assaults of evil spirits, from foes visible and invisible, from the snares of the devil, from all passions that beguile soul and body, May it guard, protect and deliver us. Amen. And a historic collect for Compline. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing always be upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so now we turn to the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks to the morning, so do we look to ye, O Christ. May the light of Christ, King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights in the world. 
So Compline is concluded. Go in peace. Amen.